And you might not know, when we were contesting last year, I keep telling you people that Tati and I would have been the first people since Nigerian independence 53 years ago to be president and vice president. Everybody wanted to rule us and before independence. This is the first time there's a national chairman of a big party that is born after independence. So you see, it's time to retire this The British High Commission in Nigeria has added its voice to the international community's reactions to the outcome of the Edo state governorship election held on Saturday. In a statement released on Wednesday, the commission urged the judiciary to address disputes arising from the poll in good faith. Scenario 2 for 7 updates reports that the election saw the All Progressives Congress candidate, Monday Akpabolo emerged victorious with 291,667 votes. The People's Democratic Party's Asu Igodalo secured 247,270 for votes. The UK calls for continued calm following the announcement of the result. The commission stated, electoral and legal processes exist to address any challenges or disputes, and we encourage the authorities, including INEC, to examine all concerns transparently and in good faith. The British High Commission said it will continue to closely monitor the situation in Edo. The US had earlier congratulated the people of Edo State on the successful conduct of the election and delivered a similar message.